Packers jacket and uh, they suck. <laughs> so <laughs> two and seven. You wear a Mets hat and a Hoosiers jersey. I set myself up for that. Anyway. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> so anyway, the killer. They're good guys. That's about all I can say about them. What other Chicago bands are there? All right, I'm gonna shut the fuck up. This is Sunday night. Hey, <laughs> Shane. Six days later, last time. Good job. <laughs> he needed to sit in there. All right. We don't know all our own songs because we don't practice anymore. <sighs> We're that kind of band. And yeah, our guitarist is down in New Orleans is cleaning up toxic waste or something. I don't know. He's making like 400 bucks a day. Yeah. It is. So that's why we don't know our songs. Oh well. 
we re Shane really asked us to play the show so we can come drink beers with them. So. No. <laughs> He's a fucking dumbass. <laughs> For real. Anyway. We're taking requests. Okay, we'll play that one. <laughs> I'm 
seriously haven't practiced in, to be totally honest with you, when we wrote Respect Our Loyalty, I think that was the last time we were together as a full band for practice. Other than that, we don't practice, so we're pretty much worthless. <laughs> That's our secrets. No, but anyway. I had a truth here. I don't I only recognize the truth. No, but we've been at a couple shows recently, and... South Bend, Indiana, at the Chevron Bar. And they're the funnest shows that you'll ever see. I'm tired of hardcore and kids in hardcore being so macho. I don't know. Everyone takes everything too fucking serious. No one has fun anymore. And that's pretty lame. So you go to a show and everyone's like, check out my dance move, dude. Check out my hair. Check out my shirt that I bought at the last show. That's all fucking stupid. It's all gay. So, uh, stop it. And start having fun. Because that's when hardcore was fun, is when we had fun. <laughs> when Jose gets naked and knocks Shane's wife over and tries to pick her up. Can I get you? Can I help you up? No, seriously, though. Bar shows, 21 and over shows, are pretty much the lamest shit in the world in Indiana. In, uh, in, 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 it's Indiana. <laughs> but uh, it, it helped me realize a lot that that the fun aspect of hardcore was kind of gone. You know how you go to shows and you're just like preoccupied and everything's on your mind and oh, I'm gonna go to this show because this dude's gonna fight that dude and I'm just gonna watch him the whole night because I know what's gonna happen and shit like that. And, I don't know. I get involved in that a long time ago. Now I'm just, I'm just tired of seeing that. You know, I'm gonna stop talking. But I just want to have fun from now on. I drink beer, play hardcore. Good times, right? Good times. This doesn't apply to everyone here because there's usually there's like 700 kids at a show and. About 660 of them suck dick. Not literally, but you know what I mean. Anyway, I'm done talking. Oh, <laughs> 
Like, could you just turn it in at the table over there? 